Welcome to Borishal Cadet College. I am SM Athikur Raja, Lecturer, Department of Mathematics, Borishal Cadet College, Borishal. Well, I hope that you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Due to Corona pandemic, I could not take your class in your classroom. I have to take your class virtually. Coronavirus is like the flu. Children very rarely get sick, but it feels like a cold. Be careful and tell your parents or teacher if you don't feel good. Tell an adult or your teacher when you don't feel good, you have a cough, your head hurts. Well, now I will take your higher mathematics class for class nine. Today's topic, equations involving radicals from chapter 5.2. Learning outcome. At the end of the lesson, you'll be able to know about solving integral equation. Was in this chapter at first I solved some problem and a CQ, then I will give you some homework. This is a problem here. At first, I write this problem that is root over 8x plus 9 minus root over 2x plus 15 equal to root over 2x minus 6. If I change this side, then I get root over 8x plus 9 equal to root over 2x plus 15 plus root over 2x minus 6. Then we get this equation from this equation. If we take square on both sides of this equation, then I get this equation because if we take square on both sides of this equation, we can apply here a plus b whole square formula. We know a plus b whole square equal to a square plus 2ab plus v square. Here, root 2sx plus 15 is square, that means 2sx plus 15. Root 2sx minus 6, 6 square, that means 2sx minus 6. Here, 2sab, that means 2 into root over 2sx plus 15, root over 2sx minus 6, equal to 8x plus 9, that means if we take square on root over 8x plus 9, then we get 8x plus 9. But this term remain unchanged here. 8x plus 9 remain unchanged here. Whereas you know, 2x plus 2x equal to 4x. And if we change the side, then we get minus 4x. 15 minus 6 equal to 9. And if we change the side, then we get minus 9. Was this term remain unchanged here? 8x minus 4x equal to 4x, 9 minus 9 equal to 0. If we divide this equation by 2, then we get root over 2x plus 15, root over 2x minus 6 equal to 2x. If we take square on both sides on this equation, we get 2x plus 15 into 2x minus 6 equal to. 4x squared. If we multiply this two term, then we get 4x squared minus 12x plus 30x minus 90. Because 2x into 2x equal to 4x squared. 2x minus 6 equal to 12x. 15 into 2x, that means 30x. 15 into minus 6 equal to 90. Here, 4x squared remain unchanged. Was here minus 12x plus 30x, that means plus 18x. Other terms are remain unchanged. Was here 4x squared minus 4x squared equal to 0. So finally, we get 8x equal to 90. If we divide this equation by 18, then we get x equal to 5.
was now we check this equation by this solution which is called verification for x equal to 5 left hand side 8 into x that means 8 into 5 plus 9 here minus root over 2 into 5 plus 15 2 into 5 plus 15 Because you know, 8 into 5, that means 40. 40 plus 9 equal to 49. 2 into 5, that means 10. 10 plus 15 equal to 25. Square root of 49 equal to 7. Square root of 25 equal to 5. 7 minus 5 equal to 2. And right hand side, for x equal to 5, we get 2 into 5 minus 6. Here, 2 into 5, that means 10. 10 minus 6 equal to 4, root over 4 equal to 2. Whereas here we see that for x equal to 5, the value of left hand side and the value of right hand side is same. So our required solution is x equal to 5. Now we solve another problem which is given here. Whereas at first we write this equation, which is root over twice x plus nine minus root over x minus four equal to root over x plus one. If we take a square on both sides of this equation, then we get this equation. Because here we apply m minus b whole square formula. Whereas you know, root over twice x plus nine square, that means twice x plus nine, root over x minus four square, that means x minus four here minus 2ab, that means minus root over twice x plus nine, root over x minus four. Here, the square of root over x plus one equal to x plus one. But here, two x plus x equal to thrice x, nine minus four equal to five. This term remain unchanged. Here, x plus one remain unchanged. But if we change the side, for x, then we get minus x. For 1, we get here minus 1. And if we change this term, then we get positive term. Whereas, trice x minus x equal to 2x, 5 minus 1 equal to 4. Here, this term remain unchanged. If we divide this equation by 2, then we get x plus 2 equal to root over twice x plus nine root over x minus four. But here, we change the side, then we get this equation. If we take square on both sides of this equation, then we get twice x plus nine, x minus four equal to x plus two whole square. But, if we multiply this term by this term, then we get this equation. Here, twice x into x equal to twice x squared, twice x minus four equal to minus eight x. Nine into x, that means nine x. Nine into minus four, that means minus 36. Here, if we apply the formula plus b whole square, then we get x squared plus four x plus four. But if we change the side for this term, then we get 2x square minus x square plus x minus 4x minus 36 minus 4 equal to 0. Because you know, 2x square minus x square, that means x square. x minus 4x, that means minus 3x. Minus 36 minus 4 equal to minus 40. Whereas now we take middle factor for this term. Then we get x square minus 8x plus 5x minus 40 equal to 0. If we take common x from these two terms, then we get x into x minus h. And from these two terms, if we take common 5, then we get 5 into x minus h. Whereas finally we get x minus h, x plus 5. From this equation, we get x equal to h or x equal to minus 5.
Well, now we verify this equation for the solution. For x equal to 8, left hand side, here, root over 2x plus 9 minus root over x minus 4. So here we get 2 into 8 plus 9 minus 8 minus 4. Was 2 into 8, that means 16, 16 plus 9 equal to 25. Here we get root over 25. Here 8 minus 4, that means 4. Here square root of 25 equal to 5, square root of 4 equal to 2. 5 minus 2 equal to 3. And right hand side, if we put the value 8, then we get 8 plus 1. 8 plus 1 means 9, root over 9 equal to 3. So x equal to 8 is the root of the given equation. Whereas now we check for x equal to minus 5. Left hand side here, root over 2 into minus 5 plus 9 minus root over minus 5 minus 4. Whereas 2 into minus 5, that means minus 10. Minus 10 plus 9 equal to root over minus 1. Here, minus that, then root over minus 5 minus 4 equal to root over minus 9. And right hand side, root over minus 5 plus 1 equal to root over minus 4. For x equal to minus 5, this value is not acceptable because putting x equal to minus 5, each term becomes the square root of a negative number which is not defined. Suppose the solution is x equal to 5. Now, as we solve another problem, which is given here, at first we write this problem. From this equation, we can get this equation because we change the side of this term. Because now we take square on the both sides of the equation, then we get this equation. But square root x square minus 6x plus 9. If we square this term, then we get x square minus 6x plus 9. And if we apply here a plus b whole square formula, then we get 1 plus root over 2 s 2, 2 root over square x square minus 6x plus 6 plus x square minus 6x plus 6. But if we change the side for this term, then we get x square minus 6x plus 9 minus 1 minus x square plus 6x minus 6 equal to 2 root over x square minus 6x plus 6. But after calculating, then we get this equation because x square minus x square equal to 0 minus 6x plus 6x equal to 0 minus 1 minus 6 that means 7 9 minus 7 equal to 2. This term remains unchanged. If we divide this term, equation by 2, then we get this equation. If we change the side, then we get root over x square minus 6x plus 6 equal to 1. If we take square on the both sides, then we get x square minus 6x plus 6 equal to 1. If we change the side of 1, then we get x square minus 6x plus 6 minus 1 equal to 0. After calculating 6 minus 1 equal to 5. Then we get x squared minus 6x plus 5 equal to 0. Whereas if we take middle factor for minus 6x, then we get x squared minus 5x minus x plus 5 equal to 0. Whereas if we take common x from the first two terms, then we get x into x minus 5. And for last two terms, if we take common minus 1, then we get minus 1 into x minus 5 equal to 0. Well, finally we get x minus 5 into x minus 1 equal to 0. Here solution x equal to 5 comma 1. Well, now we verify this equation for x equal to 5 and 1. Verification. If we put the value x equal to 5, then we get left hand side root over 5 square minus 6 into 5 plus 9 minus 
root over 5 square minus 6 into 5 plus 6. Here, 5 square means 25. 6 into 5, that means 30. Here, 5 square means 25. 6 into 5 means 30. Here, 25 plus 9 equal to 34. Minus 30 remain unchanged. 25 plus 6, that means 31. Minus 30 remain unchanged. Here, 34 minus 30 equal to 4. Here, 31 minus 30 equal to 1. But you know, root over 4 equal to 2, root over 1 equal to 1. That means 2 minus 1 equal to 1. That means 1 equal to right hand side. So x equal to 5 is the root of the given equation because it satisfies left hand side and right hand side. Now, if we put x equal to 1, then we get left hand side root over 1 square minus 6 into 1 plus 9 minus 1 square minus 6 into 1 plus 6 root over 1 minus 6 plus 9 minus root over 1 minus 6 plus 6. Here, 1 plus 9 equal to 10 minus 6 remain unchanged. 1 plus 6 equal to 7 minus 6 remain unchanged. But as you know, 10 minus 6 equal to 4, 7 minus 1 equal to 1. Square root of 4 equal to 2, square root of 1 equal to 1. Then finally we get 1, which is equal to right hand side. So x equal to 1 is the root of the given equation. So our required solution is x equal to 5 comma 1. Whereas well, now we solve a CQ problem, which is given here. We are given this term. At first, a given problem, which is write the simplicate condition of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal, which is for two marks. This is another problem for four marks, and this is another problem for four marks. Now, write the simplified condition of the roots of the quadratic equation is equal. Let x squared plus bx plus c equal to zero be a quadratic equation. Then the determinant of the equation is b squared minus 4ac. If b squared minus 4ac equal to zero, hence the roots of the equation are real and equal. In this case, x equal to minus b, b by 2ac. So here, x equal to minus b by 2ac. But now we solve this problem. Here given a problem, we have to show that x equal to plus minus one. At first, we write this problem. Then we can write this equation in this form. Now, if we take cube on the both sides of the equation, then we get this form. That means one plus x to the power one by three plus one minus x to the power one by three to the power cube here. First bracket two to the power one by three, first bracket cube. So but here, if we apply a plus b whole, a plus b whole cube formula, then we get this term. Here, second bracket, then first bracket one plus x to the power x, second bracket to the power three, plus second bracket one minus x to the power one by three, second bracket three, plus three into one plus x to the power one by three, first bracket one minus x to the power one by three, second bracket one plus x to the power one by three, plus one plus x to the power one by three, second bracket equal to two. Then from this term, we get one plus x, and this term, we get one minus x. Here, this term remain unchanged. But using equation one, which is one plus x to the power one by three, one minus x to the power one by three, equal to two to the power one by three, then we get this equation. From this term, we get this term. So,
here 1 plus 1 equal to 2 x minus x equal to 0 this term remain unchanged and equal to 2 but if we interchange the side then we get 2 minus 2 and this term remain unchanged you know 2 minus 2 equal to 0 so we get this equation if we divide this equation by 3 then we get this equation if we divide this equation by 2 to the power 1 by 3 then we get this equation if we take square cube on the both sides of this equation then we get 1 plus x into 1 minus x from this we get 1 plus x equal to 0 1 minus x equal to 0 so here x equal to minus 1 or x equal to 1 so finally we get x equal to plus minus 1 which is our required solution well now we solve this problem we are given some information in this term at first we put the value of b in this equation then we get this equation so here if we put x equal y equal to this term then we get 1 by y equal to x minus 1 by 2xx so now we can write 6 root over y plus 5 root over 1 minus y equal to 13. If we take a square on both sides, then we get this equation. Here, if we apply the a plus b whole square formula, then we get 6 root over y square plus 2 into 6 root over y dot 5 square root 1 by y plus 5 root over 1 by y square equal to 169. Was from this term we get 36y, from this term we get 60, and from this term we get 25 by y equal to 169. But if we change the side for 60, then we get 169 minus 60. Then we get 169 minus 60 equal to 109. From this term and this term we get this term. If we multiply both sides by y, then we get 36y squared plus 25 plus 109y. So if we change the side for 109y, then we get 36y squared minus 109y plus 25 equal to 0. Here, 36y squared minus 109y plus 25 equal to 0. If we take middle factor, then we get 36y squared minus 100y minus 9y plus 25 equal to 0. If we take common 4y, then we get 4y plus bracket 9y minus 25. And if we take common minus 1 from last two terms, then we get minus 1 into 9y minus 25 equal to 0. Here we get 9y minus 25, 4y minus 1 equal to 0. So 9y minus 25 equal to 0 or 4y minus 1 equal to 0. If 9y minus 25 equal to 0, then 9y equal to 25, y equal to 25 by 9. Here if we put the value of y, then we get 2x by x minus 1 equal to 25 by 9. Here we get 25x minus 25 equal to 18x. Here 25x minus 18x equal to 25. Whereas you know 25x minus 18x equal to 7x. So x equal to 25 by 7. Again, 4y minus 1 equal to 0. 4y equal to 1. Or y equal to 1 by 4. If we put the value of y, then we get 2x by x minus 1 equal to 1 by 4. After calculation, we get 8x equal to x minus 1. 8x minus x equal to minus 1. 7x equal to minus 1. So finally, we get x equal to minus 1 by 7.
Whereas we now verify this equation using this solution. If f x equal to 25 by 7, then we get left hand side this term. After calculation, we get this term because 2 into 25 by 7 equal to 50 by 7. Here, 25 by 7, 25 minus 7 by 7. Here, 25 minus 7 by 7 by 50 by 7. After calculation, we get 6 root over 50 by 7 into 7 by 18 plus 5 root over 18 by 7 into 7 by 50. Then we get 6 root over 50 by 18 plus 5 root over 18 by 50. Then we get 6 root over 25 by 9 plus 5 root over 9 by 25. As you know, square root of 25 by 9 equal to 5 by 3, square root of 9 by 25 equal to 3 by 5. So here we get 10 plus 3, that means 13 equal to right hand side. So x equal to 25 by 7 is the root of the given equation. Now we verify this equation for x equal to minus 1 by 7. Here if we put the value x equal to minus 1 by 7, then we get this term. Was you know, 2 into minus 1 by 7 equal to this term. And after calculation, this term we get minus 1 minus 7 by 7. After calculation, this term we get minus 1 minus 7 by 7. Here, 2 into minus 1 by 7 equal to minus 2 by 7. So, whereas here we get 6 root over minus 2 by 7 into minus 7 by 8 plus 5 root over minus 8 by 7 into minus 7 by 2. From this term, we get 6 root over 2 by 8 plus 5 root over 8 by 2. Well, as you know, 2 by 8 equal to 1 by 4, 8 by 2 equal to 4. Square root of 1 by 4 equal to half. Square root of 4 equal to 2. Well, as you get here, 3 plus 10 equal to 13 equal to right hand side. So x equal to minus 1 by 7 is the root of the given equation. So our required solution here, x equal to 25 by 7, comma minus 1 by 7, because these two value satisfy this equation. Well, now I will give you some homework which you solve using today's lecture. One, root over x plus 4 plus root over x plus 11 equal to root over 8x plus 9. Two, root over x squared plus 4x minus 4 minus root over x squared plus 4x minus 10 equal to 6. Three, root over x minus 1 by trice x plus 2 plus 2 root over trice x plus 2 by x minus 1 equal to 3. Whereas coronavirus has stopped our life, follow these easy steps to help the prevent the spread of COVID-19. Disinfect surfaces around your home and work. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. Cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Try to keep distance, avoid public gathering, and try to follow the rules of World Health Organization by which you can save yourself from COVID-19. Thank you.